What's up guys? Hey, forgive the poor audio quality because uh, renovating the studio a little bit. Sitting here in my working on the house clothes because I'm going to be working on the house and I thought I'd do a video on it because uh, it's something cool. People like the DIY stuff so I'll show you what I'm doing. Uh, a little while ago, my cousin bought me some guitar hangers because she knows I have a lot of guitars. These little things, you know? Hang them on the wall and you can hang up a bunch of guitars. Well, they come uh, 10 in a pack, and she bought me two packs, so I got 20 hangers, right? Four little screw holes. That's a lot of screws, man. That's a whole bunch to put up. So, I thought, wow, okay, that's going to be a lot of work. Better get on it. And then I saw it has these. The cool thing about these little attachments, you hook it in just like that, you slide it in, and it hooks to slat wall. That's right. I got a piece of aluminum slat wall here. Looks like this. You know, it's got slots in it. You've seen them at music stores. You've seen them at retail stores. And that's upside down. You can hook your hangers on that. And these neat little hangers, they, uh, they got a little button down here. You can turn them 45 degrees, you can turn them to uh, 90 degrees, right? So that gives you lots of options for hanging your guitars. So I thought I'll get me some slat wall, and then if I want to add more hangers later, it's easy because the rails are up. And, you know, good stuff, right? Now, the guitar hangers were like 35 bucks a box uh, for a box of 10, so that's a pretty good deal. Now I'm going to put links in the description below for the hangers and the slat wall I bought. Because here is the slat wall. I got looking around and they all sell these big sections of it. And they're kind of expensive. And I found on Amazon these. You can see they're long. It's only got two rails. So it's not like, you know, most of them had, were like eight rails. They way longer than this. Uh, this is 50 inches long. It's garage tech. And came with little end caps for it, little orange end caps. I might use those, maybe not, I don't know. A bunch of drywall screws that I probably won't use because I got other things. That was $70 for a box of four of them. So that's four 50-inch slat wall rails. And then I can put, you know, put stuff up all, all around the, the top of uh, my room here. I can... Uh, hang guitars all around the studio and that's a really great idea and since it's slat wall I can move them as I want if I add new guitars I can put more hangers up I can change it at will and you know the only thing I left to do is install it right installation actually isn't that hard I'll hold this up it fits in the shop better you Hold it up to the wall, and you're supposed to put screws in on the inside of the slat there, on either side, to hold it up on the wall, right? So, you know, easy said. We'll see how easy it is to do. So, to give you guys an idea, because I'm not going to do the thing where I, I show me hanging all the stuff up. That's just like eight minutes of stuff everybody skips through anyway, a little fast-forward thing of me doing that plus I'm here by myself with one camera and I mean I don't want you all to see uh, to watch me falling all over myself trying to do this plus we all know that I'm going to run into issues that I didn't expect because we always do right whenever you do anything you always run into things you didn't expect so I'll show you the tools I'm using and pretty much what I'm going to be doing you know show you how to put it up and I'll show you the finished uh, finished thing there obviously cordless drill right you need one of them if you have one that has a cord you know great but cordless is way better instead of the uh, drywall screws that they provided with this set because they gave me like a box of them and then another extra pack like a bunch of drywall screws I'm using all-purpose drywall anchors Right, I also bought a stud finder. I'm gonna 
wherever I can, I'm going to attach it to a wall stud. So that way it'll hold better. But over 50 inches, drywall studs are about 16 inches apart. I'm probably going to run over two drywall or two studs with each rail. But it's nice to have anchors at the end, and there's no guarantee it'll be that. So use some of these drywall anchors. They're not that much. I bought these at uh, Lowe's. They got them at any hardware store. They're pretty cheap. And it's even got instructions on there how to use it. It's pretty easy. These are, let's see, 5 16 inch drill size. So you take a 5 16 inch drill bit, drill a hole in the wall, take an anchor, right like that, stick it in the hole, but that's what she said, and then uh, you can attach a screw to that and the drywall anchor expands in there and holds it to the drywall, anchors it to the drywall as the name drywall anchor. Obviously I have a pencil, I got like drill bits and screw bits for the cordless drill, and this is kind of important, I have a level. Because when you put it up there, you want to get this sucker where you want it, on the wall, make sure it's level, mark it with your pencil across it so you can get it back in the right spot, and well, I'd say the best thing to do is on the one end, take your drill, put a little hole where you want to put the anchor, where you want it to anchor it to the wall, right? Take it down, drill your hole, put in the anchor, put it back up there, put the screw about two thirds of the way in so it kind of goes back and forth. Then hold it up there with the level, put your level on it, make sure it's all level, and drill your hole on the other side where you want it to go. Let it hang, drill your hole, put in the anchor, slide it back up, and uh, you know, put the screw in. And then you can put in other, uh, other anchors the same way, or drill through to the, uh, into a wall stud so it holds it better. And these, the Garage Tech ones I bought, they're PVC. So they should be pretty easy to work with, pretty easy to drill holes in. Shouldn't be too hard. Now I say shouldn't because anybody like me that has done a lot of like home improvement stuff knows that even a simple project you're going to run into at least one thing that you didn't expect. And you're lucky if you don't end up having to go to the hardware store at least once, you know. But overall this isn't too bad a little project. Between the... Uh, like I said, my cousin bought me the hangers, so they're about 35 bucks a box, and I got two of them. That's $70, and the slat wall was about $70. So total, I'm $140, $145 with, with tax in on hanging up 20 guitars around my room. So if you're like me and you got a lot of guitars, you might not need 20 hangers. You might only need 10 or 5 but these little slat wall hangers are a really, really convenient way to go about doing this. You know? And I got more than guitars. I got banjos, I got mandolins, ukuleles, you know, all kinds of stuff, bass guitars. I got tons of, of stuff I can hang up. So I'm going to start putting this stuff up. And like I said, man, you check out the links if you're interested. It's actually a pretty economical way to do it. And you've seen those, like, uh, the other hangers, like, uh, string sling and that kind of stuff. I've gotten those before and I mean I'm gonna find out how well these work. The the string slings work amazing. They're great. If you only have like two or three instruments you want to hang up that's the way to go. Uh, they're kind of pricey though. They definitely if you're gonna hang up like 20 guitars it's not economical at all. If you have a big collection of instruments I'd say this is the better way to go. So this is the way I'm going. And like I said, it kind of happened on accident. My cousin bought me the hangers, and they, it just went from there. So this ought to be a fun project. And uh, yeah, yeah, check it out. See what you think when I'm done. I'll show you what I'm starting with. Because I got some, like I said, I got the string slings. I got guitars hanging up as it is already, you know. Uh, but I've got guitars in the corner just piled up. They're in cases and gig bags, and they're all just stacked and it gets to be a pain to find stuff. So this ought to 
improve my workflow and my life by a lot. You know what I mean? So, hey man, that ought to be pretty good. So I'll, I'll show you what I got, what I'm working with now, and when I'm done, I'll give you a peek at the finished, uh, finished product. And like I said, man, this stuff doesn't look too hard to do. I'm pretty sure just about anybody with any level of, of skill can do this. I mean, I'm not going to say anybody can do it. My wife probably wouldn't be able to hang these up, but she is very mechanically disinclined. Great writer, great songwriter, wonderful woman, great wife. She can't do much like mechanically <laughs> with her hands. She doesn't work on stuff. She's terrible at it. She's good at other things. So yeah, I'll show you I'll show you what it is now. All right? So, let's check this out. It, like I said, I've got a couple instruments hanging up there now, you know, and I've got some over here. And over here in the corner, you can see just a pile of instruments, guitars, and whatnot. And they're all in gig bags and cases, and they're piled up, and I've got more over here in this corner. And, you know, you can see I've got stuff stacked on my chair and stuff stacked all over the place just for lack of room. So this ought to free up a certain amount of room, and it ought to be pretty good. So my idea is I'm going to put two of those 50 inches across there, one across there, and one across that wall. So we'll see how it looks when I'm done. As you can see, I got the guitars hanging up behind me. As you know, I, looks pretty good. I know the lighting in here is a little, a little dim. I didn't get all the lights out today because, you know, I'm working on stuff. Everything's a mess. But I thought I'd share this project with you. Uh, I'm probably going to change what guitars are hanging up there and move stuff around, experiment with some stuff. It seems to be pretty sturdy. Uh, they hang a bit further out from the wall than they did with my uh, with my old ones. I had these, the string swing. You know, if you only got a couple guitars to hang, these are good. These are better quality than what I have, but they're also really expensive if you're doing a lot of guitars. So this is what I got. As as blessed as I am, the uh, it, the studs. The wall studs lined up just right, so I didn't have to use any drywall anchors, which is good. I've got a couple holes in the wall from where uh, I was hanging those string swings, and the drywall anchors kind of pulled loose. So, you know, sometimes that happens, but this is pretty good stuff. It, it's up there pretty solid. If you want to do a project like this, I mean, you know, it's not a lot of money. Like I said, I'll, I'll link to the stuff on Amazon. 70 bucks for the rails and uh, you know 35 for a box of 10 hangers so good stuff man that's right uh, check it out hey let me get that here let's take a look at the guitar collection yeah that's six of them I got more than that but uh, you know that's a start man so I'm gonna be doing some more uh, work in here and finishing up hanging the rest of this stuff but in the meantime, man, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot more fun stuff as whenever I'm done with this. So, yeah, I'm going to put a couple more, couple more screws in that just to make sure it's up there pretty sturdy. But, hey, it looks good to me. So, peace out. Next time. Love you guys. Hey guys, I decided to do like a postscript of this video because I finished it all up and it looks really good. So... There we go. Got all that stuff hung up there. Banjos, mandolins, ukuleles, electric guitars. Looks really good from over here. They're all hanging up. And some acoustics. You know, there's the, the hangers all the way around the room. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.